there are a few things you just can't learn from a textbook that you have to live through to see, to be fully entrenched in. Because here is a simple truth. This world is a tough place. Getting what you want, making the most of the time you have requires that you put yourself in the position to succeed. It means you see a finish line before one exists. Look, no one's ever going to call you and tell you how incredible your idea is. You can't build a business on potential or win a championship on promise. Results are binary. You either accomplished something or you simply did not. Right? That's it. That's what people see the result. So that means every second, every step of the way from where you are right now until you cross the finish line depends on you and your thoughts. How you internalize failure, how you look at setbacks, when no one is around to pat you on the back or tell you how great you are, will you have enough self-belief to move forward? Because my friends, that's the hardest part. That's what no one talks about. Having the courage to wake up every single day of your life and know that you are building towards something incredible. You are creating a masterpiece from the ground up. And that means that when you're looking in the mirror, you believe in what's staring back at you. You see the unseen and you are willing to bring it to light. That is the foundation that you build greatness on. And it's a daily pursuit, creating milestones, designing the small wins that keep you going, that keep you moving, that get you past all those times you so desperately want to turn around, but know that for you, it simply isn't an option. That is not your reality. You have more waiting for you. And so you press on, cloaked in confidence, you move into the unknown, seeking the day the rest of the world looks up and calls you lucky. They'll look at what you built and say how fortunate you are, but they won't comprehend the 20 hour days, the focus, the ridicule for being different or obsessive or non-conformant. They won't know that self-belief trumps all of that that it was everything. The word great is separate for a reason. It implies a specific set of beliefs and values. It means you saw light when most people saw darkness. It means you said yes when most people said no. You move forward when the rest of the world turned around. Believe in your greatness. See it. Live it. It is there and you need to know that it's there. Because it will make all the difference. Your self-belief will define you. You have to trust in something. Your gut, destiny, life, karma, whatever. Because believing that the dots will connect down the road will give you the confidence to follow your heart even when it leads you off the well-worn path and that will make all the difference. Your time is limited, so don't waste it living someone else's life. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. You've got to find what you love, and that is as true for work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life, and the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking and don't settle. Have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. But you're going to have some ups and you're going to have some downs. Most people give up on themselves easily. You know the human spirit is powerful. There's nothing as powerful. It's hard to kill the human spirit. 
Anybody can feel good when they have their health, their bills are paid, they have happy relationships. Anybody can be positive then. Anybody can have a larger vision then. Anybody can have faith under those kinds of circumstances. The real challenge of growth, mentally, emotionally, and spiritually, comes when you get knocked down. It takes courage to act. Part of being hungry when you've been defeated, it takes courage to start over again.